Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how we can modify our GoPro videos so that when it comes time to transferring them to friends and family, uh, maybe we'd have someone else editing them for us. Um, th these files are very large and, and for the most part, when we're talking GoPro, we're talking the action cam uh, with, you know, we're talking seconds of, of, of action for multiple minutes of, of video for the most part. So uh, when we're talking whitewater kayaking, that's certainly the case, you know, uh, getting ready for a rapid up above and uh, once once after you you calm down at the end of everything then you reach over and might, might hit the button on your on your GoPro and there's lots of time there that you're not actually doing anything um, so what well, first thing you do is you open up your GoPro studio so GoPro studio you download it from the GoPro website itself just install it uh, it's a simple next 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 install and uh, and here we are here we have it so I just launched it from my desktop here <coughs> first thing we need to do is we need to get our videos in there so where are our videos you need to know where your videos are I got my videos here just on the desktop Ottawa King of Clubs you gotta know what you want to start uh, modifying what you want to start editing I have an idea of what I want not 100% yet we're gonna just import we're gonna import some files so let's just assume that your your weekend trip is over um, it's now Sunday evening you've arrived home uh, you're very excited to, to, to pass off and maybe even show off of what, what you've done. Um, myself, I like to do that. Even before editing a, a clip, I'll, I'll share it with some friends with Dropbox or uh, Google Drive, something like that. Now, uh, we're going to find some videos to, to edit here. So, what did I say? Ottawa King of Clubs. There's some other stuff in there. But uh, all right, well, first run down Coliseum, and sketchy left. So, if you notice, I just did a drag and drop. You can you can take your uh, take your videos and just drag them into uh, where it says import new files. Don't be confused, I hit import videos, went to desktop, and then did a drag and drop of my videos from there. So we've added two videos now. All right, let's do it. There's Stephanie, and look at all this. I don't see any, any white water, I see people swimming. So what's Good. going on here? A little nerve wracking now. We scroll through. We we just want basically just running the rapid. So from about one minute until about there's still action going on. So until about one minute forty six. Took me about a minute to get through Coliseum. So we just want that part of the video. What we need to do, scroll all the way back, we're gonna find our starting point. So this looks good. I like it. Notice we've got two buttons here. One of them is called Mark In and the other one is called Mark Out. In is your starting point for, for the video we want, to, we want to derive from the long one. Now, okay, so we've got our starting point. And if we fast forward here, right to the end of the rapid, boom. Now what we've done here is we've created just a small little section that we can now tell this GoPro application to export. So we're going to say add to conversion list. So now we see up here we have a 52 second clip derived from this first run down Kali mp4 video. Now in this video you you could there could potentially be another another part of it that I want to um, that I want to save. So you can continue to review, do what you need to do until we find something that we might like. I know that there's just another small rapid over here. So here it is. Um, so I'm going to back up a little bit further. Pause it. I'm gonna find the starting point of the next rapid that I that I was running here in this in this rundown Kali video. 
we create a new mark in time. So notice that the mark in time from over here disappeared. We're starting fresh basically. This file is already up here. We know we already want it. So we're taking this same file on the left here and we're just going to choose a different time period from it and we're going to bring it over to the right again. So if I just hit play, let's run this here. All right, so that was amazing. We're going to now put our mark out field. So notice here, just a few seconds of video, we can hit add clip to conversion list. This guy ends up here up on the uh, on the right here as well. Move on to your next video. Hold your horses, old lady. We're gonna repeat the same process. So here we've got me at the top of uh, sketchy left. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm messing around. I, I, it takes me forever to get in the boat. So we got to find out where when the actual action happens. So I'm still going through, still going through. I'm still on the rock. Here we are a minute. And I still haven't done anything yet. Still going through. Oh, there's some action there. So at about a minute 43, there's the action. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the mark in time there. Going to hit play. All right. So from here, I believe I go right around the corner to the rapid. So I'm not going to chop up the video any more than this. Uh, we're just going to wait until we find out the uh, find out where it ends. We've got my running the sketchy left. We're going to add the clip to conversion list. Convert all. Okay, so now that the videos have now converted, it took about three minutes. We go to step number two. Um, so here it's asking you to uh, create uh, create a template. Um, we can just hit cancel here. I mean, what what we're doing is is we just want to get the just the base is done. So we we've got our we we've got our items here. What we want to do is take all the videos, turn them into one long video, and then ship them off. So now we've moved on to step number two. We have our three clips here to work with. Now this is the editor. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys any editing. Uh, we can do everything from creating, uh, you know, creating a music video to, to having um, a commentary. I mean, a anything anything to do with what you need with the editing is done here. Um, but for for what we're doing here, what we want to do is we want to select all of this video, put it down on the timeline. So this is where, where we actually do our, our physical, our actual editing here. Um, so we can organize the clips, which ones are first, which ones last. Um, I recommend we just take everything, drop it into the timeline here, make it in whichever order you like. And at that point, we can hit export. How do you want to export it? There's all these nice, uh, nice different functions. Uh, HD 720p. Uh, that is actually what uh, what the video is all recorded at. Uh, that's what I use recording um, use for recording. Um, it's a nice balance between video size, quality, and um, uh, ba basically it's 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 the standard for most TVs. Actually, uh, the only only recently that there was a, a real necessity for um, for for 1080p. Uh, it just it, I find it takes up a lot of battery life with uh, with the GoPro, and until there's a solution for for better battery life, I don't think I'll ever even bother personally running uh, running at 1080p unless it's a really amazing shot. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit export there. Um, I'm going to call it Craig Modified Video. 
And then at the end, I'm just going to put tests. Go ahead and save it. It's exporting. Okay. So it's now completed. What we should have now is a videos folder with Craig modified test mp4 here it is so just running Coliseum and it should flip over to our next video shortly get into the washout Holy shit! Looks like it's all there. So, in comparison, if I right click on this file that I we, we just newly created, this file is now 157 megabytes. Now if I go back to the GoPro folder, first run down Kali video is 2.4 gigabytes. So if for instance you wanted to just send both of these whole videos to somebody who is going to be editing your video for let's for instance um, just the first rundown collie and the sketchy left video if I take the sketchy left video go to properties that one's 445 megabytes so if you know anything about these sizes 2.4 gigabytes plus we're, we're, we're looking at um, a ridiculous amount of space when after we've made the uh, the edit if we just go into our, our videos so so here's the edit that I that I made if I go to properties again 157 megabytes and it's the same quality